Hello, this is Mark Henninger from AVS Forum, and today I'm reviewing Definitive Technologies Demand D7 Bookshelf Speakers. The entry point to Definitive's new Demand series, the D7 is a two-way design featuring magnetic grills and four and a half inch polypropylene balanced double surround system woofers, as well as one inch aluminum dome tweeters. Definitive Technology specifies the frequency response of the D7 speakers as 67 Hz to 21 kHz, plus or minus 3 decibels. The sensitivity of these 8 ohm speakers is specced at 85 decibels, and Definitive Technology says they can handle up to 125 watts of power. Here you can see the dual surround on the woofer. These speakers are mirror images of each other and feature offset tweeters that are mounted in recessed waveguides that also feature acoustic lenses. Each D7 measures 9.75 inches high by 5.5 inches wide by 8.75 inches deep and weighs 10.5 pounds. There's a single pair of gold-plated binding posts on the rear of each speaker, which accept banana plugs. Also, each Demand D7 has an integrated threaded insert, which makes it compatible with wall-mounted brackets. Although the ability to wall-mount them makes them a viable option for home theater, in this review I took a two-channel approach. Also on the back, you'll find the large port, which is responsible for its base performance, which happens to be very good for a speaker this size. Notice the fit and finish here. These are very well made speakers. I took a few rough measurements to see how they correlate to Definitive Technologies published specifications. What I found did not appear to contradict Definitive Technologies anechoic measurements in any way. A gated, on-axis measurement shows that the treble response goes right up to 20,000 Hz without falling off at all. With an on-axis measurement, there appears to be a slight increase in treble around 10,000 Hz. It's just a couple of decibels. As with just about any speaker of a similar design, there is some fall off in terms of treble output when measuring off axis. Rotating the speaker 20 degrees resulted in a 3 or 4 decibel reduction in treble response from about 5000 Hz on up. You can use this characteristic to your advantage during critical two channel listening. All you have to do is adjust the toe in angle of the speaker to tweak the treble response. I fed the Demand D7 some pink noise and turned the volume way up in a torture test of sorts. I listened carefully for any odd rattling sounds or signs of distress, and detect nothing but clean static. And I even fed the speaker a 1 hertz sine wave to see how it handled that. With the basement measurements done, I took the speakers upstairs and set them up in my living room on speaker stands approximately 4 feet out from the back wall. I utilized a Class A Sigma reference system that fed 200 watts of power to each speaker. At first, for this track, I played the speaker's full range. I found the sound very detailed, very engaging, and also very neutral.
Definitive Technology touts these speakers as offering excellent imaging, and I couldn't agree more. The Demand D7s disappeared, just like good audiophile speakers are supposed to, and left me with a grand sound stage. As long as you don't ask the Demand D7s to do something that they are physically incapable of doing, they deliver a flawless performance. You're listening to The Solo Project on SoundCloud.com by Dub King, which is my alter ego. I actually created this track because of the people I met on AVS Forum who had incredible subwoofer systems that reached into the infrasonic realm. So I composed music that could take advantage of those systems. Now, these speakers can't handle 20 hertz or even 30 hertz, but adding a subwoofer, well, let me tell you something. It changes the entire character of these speakers. Now, freed from the burden of having to reproduce a range that subwoofers should be taking care of anyhow, these speakers start to really show what they can do. You can crank the volume, and the woofer doesn't strain at all. There's a lot to be said for the fidelity you can achieve by pairing up compact satellites with a highly capable subwoofer. In this case, a subwoofer that can get down to 16 hertz. With so many options out there these days at the $500 price point, Definitive Technology had to come up with something that impresses both aesthetically and in terms of performance. To that end, the Demand D7 gets the job done, and it gets it done well. I really enjoyed reviewing this speaker pair and consider them a top choice.